Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo and we are privileged and honored to have the past president of the National Shooting Sports Foundation, Steve Sinetti. Steve, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And I'm glad David. you said past president because the people that are working to make the show so great are the right people now, not me. <laughs> no, you did a wonderful job. So you were in retirement for what, an hour and a half and all of a sudden you decided you needed to do something. Well, even before I uh, retired from NSSF, I knew I wanted to stay involved with the gun business. And so I talked to some friends. They said, why don't you become an appraiser? And so now I appraise gun collections and see a lot of really interesting stuff. So, uh, but appraising, I mean, isn't there like a blue book for guns? Well, there are a lot of things. There's blue books and catalogs, and so they specify individual manufacturers or, or all military guns, whatever. And they're great as far as they go. But the problem with a, with a book like that is it doesn't take into account the individual characteristics of the gun. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you know, if you look at a book and you say, well, my lever action model 1895 is worth this, Okay, if it has custom features, it depends on the condition that it's in. Who owned it before? Maybe Teddy Roosevelt owned that gun. Things that are intangibles, you can't really read into the blue book like that. Now, I love the blue books. I use them all the time as a starting point, but a professional appraiser looks at a various things called the characteristics of value of a property to come up with an opinion of value or what it's worth over and beyond what a basic run-of-the-mill thing would be. So even even the history of the gun, who owned it, anything like that, that mm -hmm. actually comes into play. Oh yeah, yeah. But don't you have to prove that somehow? Yes, you do. I, and they always talk about, uh, you know, sell the gun, not the story. And that's true because a lot of people mistakenly believe what's been in their family for all these years is a valuable artifact because that's the family story. Sure. You know, grandpa used this gun in the Civil War. Well, that's great, except you look at it and it's a trapdoor Springfield made in 1888. Yeah. And then you have to kind of gently break the news that, well, it's a great gun and it's worth this, but it's not a gun used in the Civil War. Had it been used by grandpa, on the Civil War, yes, that, that puts the value up. My, my father brought back from, the, from Japan after the invasion a very ornate looking sign which we couldn't read in Japanese. Long after he passed away, fortunately, I had a contact in Japan, it was old Japanese. <coughs> Excuse me. He had it translated and said Warehouse 9. Wow. So that, my father would have been crushed, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So um, Excuse me. <coughs> the me. characteristics are a big deal, but why would I want, I mean, you know, why would I want to have a gun appraised? If, if, if you want to buy my gun, don't right. we just come to appraise well, and well, buy yeah, my gun? Well, that, that's a very good question. Um, looking at a blue book or talking to a dealer or something to, to do a negotiation of, of a sale, that's fine as far as it goes, but there are certain times you have to have an appraisal. And I'll give you a few examples. Um, if you want to donate a gun you have to a charitable foundation like a museum, maybe, maybe it is grandpa's gun from the Civil War. If you want to donate it, the IRS says if the value of either one gun or your collection of guns that you're donating is worth over $5,000, you have to have a written appraisal done by a qualified oh. appraiser or else they're going to deny your, your tax deduction. Okay, That's yeah. one thing. Um, if you are uh, planning an estate, you know, sometimes you, you, know, you want your kids to have different guns, it's good to have an appraisal in hand so that there's no family bickering over, well, he's getting one sure. that's worth more than I have for that. Um, another reason you might want to have a, an appraisal done is um, if you are trying to sell something, you don't know exactly what it is, uh, you want to make sure you're not getting screwed because, you know, well, it's just an old gun. I don't know what this is. Sure. You know? and, and so an appraisal will, will help that out. Um, th th so th the, the um, tax deductions, the uh, um, marital situations, um, estate planning, a number of different things. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, well auction, yeah. most auction houses have appraisers on staff. But again, if you want an independent appraisal to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of, not that that happens, but it could happen, then you want to make sure you have an independent third party appraisal. And so when you do appraisals, is it like an hourly thing or a flat rate? How does it? Yeah, I, I charge $100 an hour, which is less than most garage mechanics make right now. Yeah, that's and, sure. and so essentially, I take photo, they get photographs of the gun or I can examine the gun in person. Um, I look at the thing, I determine what the markings are, the condition of the gun, uh, serial number of the gun, look that up, see if there's any factory history with the gun. Um, and then sometimes I will find out if a gun's been in the family, they themselves have kept records about, you know, so maybe there was a newspaper article about this. Or um, if uh, you, you look at um, 
uh, you, you go online, or sometimes I've even gone to the National Archives in the case of some military guns wow. that have been tested in various places. You want to look at the test records to make sure that the gun you're looking at is actually the gun they're claiming it is. Sure. So there's a lot of different things you need to do in order to make sure that it's, it's an authentic item, that it is what it's supposed to be, that you're fairly and accurately coming up with an estimate of its value and uh, reporting to the client. So if people want to get a hold of if somebody's at the show mm -hmm. and wants to contact you, what, what is right. your booth? Well, I'm right here at the show over at Caesars, booth number 75719, and it has right at the top, Arms Appraisals LLC, which is my business. And I can also be contacted uh, via email, armsappraisals at gmail.com. And you have a website. Yes, I do. It's called armsappraisalsllc.com. Steve, it's a pleasure having you on as Thank always. you so much. I really enjoyed it. Good luck it. With, the, with that. Thank you. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo. Mm -hmm.